The Walleye Board Pro Pack Setup Instructions You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a small needle-nosed pliers. When you open the package you'll find two planer boards, two double action flag systems, two tow arm assemblies with line clips, and two parts bags. The Walleye Board Pro Pack ships as a pair with one board set for port side use and the other for starboard. Step one is to attach the double action flag system. First, gather one flag, one adjustment sprocket, one adjustment lever, and one plastic washer. Apply a thin layer of Vaseline or marine grease to the side of the adjustment sprocket with the ring of small divots. Then stack together on the sprocket the adjustment lever, the flag, and then the plastic washer. Insert the number six screw with spring and finishing washer to hold the stack together. Move the whole stack as one unit to the back of the board. Tighten the screw about halfway into the pre-drilled hole, just enough to hold everything in place. Then press the unit down, seating the bottom of the sprocket into the foam. Tighten the screw to snug, but not overly tight. Now you'll see that by applying gentle pressure, the adjustment lever should click between its different positions. Screw in the eye screw in the pre-drilled hole at the back edge of the board. Now you get to decide which way you want the flag to signal bites. First, let's set it up so the flag goes up when you get a bite. Insert the wire through the eye screw, hook the wire through the bottom hole on the flag. Quick tip, if you run into trouble, small needle nose pliers can make it easier. Hook the tension spring through that same hole. Then rotate the tension spring towards the adjustment lever. Hook the spring into the bottom hole of the adjustment lever. Click the adjustment lever up to apply some tension to the spring. And now you can see by pulling the wire, the flag goes from down to up. Now let's set the flag so it pulls down to indicate a strike. Instead of attaching the wire to the bottom hole of the flag, use the top hole. Hook the tension spring through that same hole. Rotate the tension spring towards the adjustment lever. Hook the spring into the top hole of the adjustment lever. Click the adjustment lever down to apply some tension to the spring. Now the flag goes from up to the down position. To complete the double action flag system assembly, connect the universal clip to the wire at the rear of the board by threading on the large split ring attached to the clip. Step two, attach the tow arm. Remove the two screws from the face of the planer board. Use those same two screws in the same two holes to attach the tow arm. Next is to set the line clip tension. We preset them with the top of the screw just below flush with the clip arm, which is a good universal setting. But to dial it in for your specific baits, line, and conditions, tighten the screw to increase tension and loosen it to decrease tension. Of course, you'll need to repeat all of these assembly steps for both boards. And to connect your walleye board to your line, simply squeeze open the line clip, run the line coming from the reel through the opening between the clip pads and release the clip. Then squeeze the rear universal clip open, run the line behind the small pin, being sure to leave a couple inches of slack line and release the clip. And with that, the walleye board is ready to fish.